If you even received blurry or low quality footage from your clients, it might ruin your final video. We tried to apply sharpness, unsharp mask, and variety of different effects, but doesn't seem to work. And if you are also stuck in this situation, then today we are gonna see how we can easily upscale your videos in just a click using this software called AIRD Video Enhancer. ARD uses advanced AI to denoise, deblur, and upscale videos, often boosting them up to 4K resolution. The tool accelerates processing using GPU optimization for faster output without sacrificing quality. It also supports AI frame interpolation, allowing you to increase smoothness or produce slow motion footage at up to 120 FPS. So let's see how you can enhance your videos in some very few clicks. So when you launch the software, you will find a simple and modern interface like this. To enhance our video, the first thing which we have to do is import our clips. So we will click on this plus icon and go towards the location where we have stored our files which we want to enhance, and select that video and click OK, and this will import the clip successfully. And if you want to enhance multiple videos at the same time, then you can import more files by clicking on this plus button. Now, if you want to enhance only some parts of the video, then what you have to do is go to the in point where you want to initiate the enhancement and click this button and go to the out point where you want to end it and then click on this button and this will mark the clip and only enhance this part of the clip by which you can quickly enhance certain parts of clips. Now, to see the difference, click on this button and this will generate AI models which are essential to enhance the videos and within some seconds you will get the preview and you can see clearly our footage now are much enhanced and less blurry. You can see the details are much sharper if you compare it to from original video. You can also switch to two view mode by this button and this will show you before and after at the same time. Now, let's see some important settings which you should know while using this software. So on the right hand side, we can see plenty of buttons. So let's see what each of them do one by one. So on this drop-down menu, you can select the hardware used to render the video during this process. If you have a dedicated graphics card, then it will show its name here. So it's always better to select it to make things happen quickly. Now, let's see which AI model you should use for which type of videos. So the first AI model is MO Detail HQ V2, and this is perfect for daylight, our door scenes, and portraits where sharp textures are essential. Look at the details on the headphone. It's much sharper, and the details are enhanced. And the same thing you can notice on the microphone where you can see the text better than original video. By using this models, you can enhance any footage up to 4K. Now, our next model is Smooth HQ V2. And this model is good for removing flaws in videos and maintaining the color and textures of the original video. This is perfect model to use for videos which are shot in indoor lighting area. You can see the edges are getting much better separation, which enhances the quality of the footage. And look at the clouds. It reduced the smoke around the edges to maintain the textures. This also supports upscaling to 4K. And our last model is called Super Video HQ. And this model delivers industry-leading noise reduction and details even in the dark scenes. This can be a bit slower model from the other two, but ensures best quality while denoising. So use these models according to the video you are working with. If you want to slightly decrease the quality to make things quick, then click on this turbo button, and this will help you to export faster. If you want to edit your clips, then simply tick this, and now you can rotate or flip your clips as you like. You can also crop your video freely, or select the aspect ratio from this drop-down menu. And to get back to original aspect ratio, just press this button, and it will revert the changes. Now, first let's see how to export the video. But before this, we will see some export settings. So we will click on this button to extend the export options. So in the format options, you can choose MP4 and in the video codec menu to choose the codecs. And the same applies to audio codecs. So choose them according to your need. Now, if you want to change the output location, then simply click on the three dots button and choose the location where you want to store them and hit select folder. And this will export files into that folder, which helps you to stay organized. Now, let's see how to 2X your video frames per second. So this is a simple video which is around 30 frames per second, and I want to convert it into 60S for the two reasons. And to do it, we will just click on this frame interpolation option and click on this drop-down menu. And here you can go all the way up to 120 FPS, which is crazy. It mean if you have one second of normal 30 FPS video, 
then you can convert it into 4 second of slow motion video without reshooting the video, which is insane. Video Enhancer is a really great software which can enhance your video quality in just some clicks and provide much better speed from different software. So do chimp them out using the link in the description, and I will see you in the next one.